Good morning. Thanks for joining us for a morning prayer. I'm Melissa and this is All Saints Episcopal Church in New Albany, Ohio. Today is September 21st already and it's the uh, Feast of St. Matthew the Apostle. Let's take a moment to center ourselves for prayer. Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Come, let us worship the Lord, the King of the Apostles. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his for he made it and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord our maker for he is our God and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us worship the Lord, the King of the Apostles. This is my commandment. Love one another as I have loved you. O oh God, you are my God, eagerly I seek you. My soul thirsts for you, my flesh faints for you, as in a barren and dry land where there is no water. Therefore have I gazed upon you in your holy place, that I might behold your power and your glory. For your loving kindness is better than life itself. My lips shall give you praise. So I will bless you as long as I live, and lift up my hands in your name. My soul is content as with marrow and fatness, and my mouth praises with you with joyful lips. When I remember you upon my bed and meditate on you in the night watches, for you have been my helper, and under the shadow of your wings I will rejoice. My soul clings to you. Your right hand holds me fast. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. This is my commandment. Love one another as I have loved you. <clears throat> there is no greater love than to lay down your life for your friends. Glory to the Lord, all you works of the Lord. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. In the firmament of his power, glorify the Lord. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. Glorify the Lord, you angels and all powers of the Lord. O heavens and all waters above the heavens, sun and moon, star and stars of the sky, glorify the Lord. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. Glorify the Lord, every shower of rain and fall of dew, all winds and fire and heat. Winter and summer, glorify the Lord. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. Glorify the Lord, O chill and cold, drops of dew and flakes of snow. Frost and cold, ice and sleet, glorify the Lord. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. Glorify the Lord, O nights and days, O shining light and enfolding dark. Storm clouds and thunderbolts, glorify the Lord. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. Let the earth glorify the Lord. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. Glorify the Lord, O mountains and hills, and all that grows upon the earth. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. Glorify the Lord, O springs of water, seas and streams, O whales and all that move in the waters. All birds of the air glorify the Lord. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. Glorify the Lord, O beasts of the wild, and all you flocks and herds. O men and women everywhere, glorify the Lord. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. Let the people of God glorify the Lord. 
praise him and highly exalt him forever. Glorify the Lord, O priests and servants of the Lord. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. Glorify the Lord, O spirits and souls of the righteous. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. You that are holy and humble of heart, glorify the Lord. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. Let us glorify the Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. In the firmament of his power, glorify the Lord. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. There is no greater love than to lay down your life for your friends. You are my friends if you do what I command to do, says the Lord. Alleluia. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing his praise in the congregation of the faithful. Let Israel rejoice in his maker. Let the children of Zion be joyful in their king. Let them praise his name in the dance. Let them sing praise to him with timbrel and harp. For the Lord takes pleasure in his people. He adorns the poor with victory. Let the faithful rejoice and triumph. Let them be joyful on their beds. Let the praises of God be in their throat and a two-edged sword in their hand to wreak vengeance on the nations and punishment on the peoples, to bind their kings in chains and their nobles in links of iron, to inflict on them the judgment decreed. This is the glory for his faithful people. Alleluia. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. You are my friends if you do what I command you, says the Lord. <clears throat> First reading is from Isaiah. For the Lord spoke thus to me while his hand was strong upon me, and warned me not to walk in the way of it, the, this people, saying, do not call conspiracy all that this people calls conspiracy. And do not fear what it fears or be in dread. But the Lord of hosts, him you shall regard as holy. Let him be your fear and let him be your dread. He will become a sanctuary, a stone one strikes against. For both houses of Israel, he will become a rock one stumbles over, a trap and a snare for the inhabitants of Jerusalem and many among them shall stumble, and they shall fall and be broken, and they shall be snared and taken. Bind up the testimony, seal the teaching among my disciples. I will wait for the Lord who is hiding his face from the house of Jacob, and I will hope in him. See, I am the children, and the children whom the Lord has given me are signs and portents in Israel from the Lord of hosts who dwells on Mount Zion. Now, if people say to you, consult the ghosts and the familiar spirits that chirp and mutter, should not a people consult their gods, the dead on behalf of the living, for teaching and for instruction? Surely those who speak like this will have no dawn. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Their voice has gone out to the limits of the earth, their words to the end of the world. Glory to you, Lord God of our fathers. You are worthy of praise. Glory to you. Glory to you for the radiance of your holy name. We will praise you and highly exalt you forever. Glory to you in the splendor of your temple, in the throne of your majesty. Glory to you. Glory to you seated between the cherubim. We will praise you and highly exalt you forever. Glory to you, beholding the depths, in the high vault of heaven, glory to you. Glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. We will praise you and highly exalt you forever. Their voice has gone out to the limits of the earth, their words to the ends of the world. Second reading is from Romans. Brothers and sisters, my heart's desire and prayer to God for them is that they may be saved. I can testify that they have a zeal for God, 
but it is not enlightened. For being ignorant of the righteousness that comes from God and seeking to establish their own, they have not submitted to God's righteousness. For Christ is the end of the law, so that there may be righteousness for everyone who believes. Moses writes concerning the righteousness that comes from the law, that the person who does these things will live by them. But the righteousness that comes from faith says, Do not say in your heart who will ascend into heaven, that is to bring Christ down, or who will descend into the abyss, that is to bring Christ up from the dead. But what does it say? The word is near you, on your lips and in your heart, that is the word of faith that we proclaim. Because if you confess with your lips that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For one believes with the heart and is so justified, and one confesses with the mouth and is so saved. The scripture says, no one who believes in him will be put to shame, for there is no distinction between Jew and Greek. The same Lord is Lord of all and is generous to all who call on him. For everyone who calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. But how are they to call on one whom they have not believed? And how are they to believe in one of whom they have never heard? And how are they to hear without someone to proclaim him? And how are they to proclaim him unless they are sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of those who bring the good news. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Pardon me. With zeal, O Matthew, you followed Christ the Master, who in his goodness appeared on earth to humankind. Summoning you from the tax office, he revealed you as a chosen apostle, the proclaimer of the gospel to the whole world. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to, our, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. With zeal, O Matthew, you followed Christ the Master who in his goodness appeared on earth to humankind. Summoning you from the tax office, he revealed you as a chosen apostle, the proclaimer of the gospel to the whole world. Third reading is a reading from a homily by St. Bede the Venerable. <clears throat> Jesus saw a man called Matthew sitting at the tax office, and he said to him, Follow me. Jesus saw Matthew, not merely in the usual sense, but more significantly with his merciful understanding of humanity. He saw the tax collector, and because he saw him through the eyes of mercy and chose him, he said to him, Follow me. This following meant imitating the pattern of his life, not just walking after him. St. John tells us, whoever says he abides in Christ ought to walk in the same way in which he walked, and he rose and followed him. There is no reason for surprise that the tax collector abandoned earthly wealth as soon as the Lord commanded him. 
nor shall one be amazed that, neglecting his wealth, he joined a band of chosen men and women whose leader had, on Matthew's assessment, no riches at all. Our Lord summoned Matthew by speaking to him in words. By an invisible interior impulse flooding his mind with the light of grace, he instructed him to walk in his footsteps. In this way, Matthew could understand that Christ, who was summoning him away from earthly possessions, had incorruptible treasures of heaven in his gift. As he sat at the table in the house, behold, many collectors, tax collectors and sinners came and sat down with Jesus and his disciples. This, conversation, this conversion of one tax collector gave many people, those from his own profession and other sinners, an example of repentance and pardon. Notice also the happy and true anticipation of his future status as apostle and teachers of the, teacher of the nations. No sooner was he converted than Matthew drew after him a whole crowd of sinners along the same road to salvation. He took up his appointed duties while still taking his first steps in the faith and from that hour fulfilled his obligation and thus grew in merit. To see a deeper understanding of the great celebration Matthew held at his house, we must realize that he not only gave a banquet for the Lord at his earthly residence, but far more pleasing was the banquet set in his own heart, which he provided through faith and love. Our Savior attests to this. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in to him and eat with him and he with me. On hearing Christ's voice, we open the door to receive him, as it were. When we freely assent, assent to his promptings and when we give ourselves over to doing what must be done, Christ, since he dwells in the hearts of his chosen ones through the grace of his love, enters so that he might eat with us and we with them. He ever refreshes us by the light of his presence insofar as we progress in our devotion and longing for the things of heaven. He himself is delighted by such a pleasing banquet. You are God, we praise you. You are the Lord, we acclaim you. You are the eternal Father, all creation worships you. To you, the angels, all powers of heaven, cherubim and seraphim sing in endless praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. The glorious company of apostles praise you. The noble fellowship of prophets praise you. The white-robed army of martyrs praise you. Throughout the world, the Holy Church acclaims you, Father of majesty unbounded, your true and only Son worthy of all worship, and the Holy Spirit advocate and guide. You, Christ, are the King of glory, the eternal Son of the Father. When you became man to set us free, you did not shun the virgin's womb. You overcame the sting of death and opened the kingdom of heaven to all believers. You are seated at God's right hand in glory. We believe that you will come and be our judge. Come then, Lord, and help your people, bought with the price of your own blood, and bring us with your saints to the glory everlasting. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. 
thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. Govern and uphold them now and always. Day by day we bless you. We praise your name forever. Lord, keep us from all sin today. Have mercy upon us, Lord, have mercy. Lord, show us your love and mercy, for we put our trust in you. In you, Lord, is our hope, and we shall never hope in vain. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for the witness of your apostle and evangelist, Matthew, to the gospel of your Son, our Savior. And we pray that after his example, we may with ready wills and hearts obey the calling of our Lord to follow him. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. O God, the King Eternal, whose light divides the day from the night and turns the shadow of death into the morning, drive far from us all wrong desires, incline our hearts to keep your law, and guide our feet into the way of peace, that having done your will with cheerfulness while it was day, we may, when night comes, rejoice to give you thanks. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, you have made of one blood all the peoples of the earth and sent your blessed Son to preach peace to those who are far off and to those who are near. Grant the people everywhere we seek after you and find you. Bring the nations into your fold. Pour your spirit upon all flesh and hasten the coming of your kingdom. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. time for our own prayers and our prayers for the church. We pray for the universal church, all its members. We pray for the mission of the church, which is the mission of God in the world. We pray for the welfare of the world. We pray for peace. We pray for our nation that our sad divisions may cease. That we find a willingness and a desire to work together for the good of all. We pray for all those in any kind of trouble, for the sick and those who care for them, for the lonely and the hungry, the homeless. We lift up prayers for all those whom we love, for all those who have asked for our prayers. We pray for the parish family of all saints. We pray for all the ministries of all saints and all of those whom those ministries touch. We pause for our own prayers. We pray for those who have died. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. 
We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and but for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth, and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. And the angel of the Lord announced unto Mary, and she conceived by the Holy Ghost. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. We beseech thee, O Lord, pour thy grace into our hearts, that as we have known the incarnation of thy Son, Jesus Christ, announced by the message of an angel to the Virgin Mary, so by his cross and passion may we be made brought into the glory of his resurrection. Through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And O Prince of the Heavenly Hosts, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Concludes our prayer for today. Thanks so much for joining us. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your Saturday. God bless you.